As I am sure you are aware, many of the resources available in print are also available on the Internet. However, there are many that are only available on the Internet and often their credibility is difficult to assess. We will begin with Google Scholar, an Internet search engine that only has professional literature. At least, that is their goal. For many years, university faculty did not allow students to use the Internet for any classwork because students were rarely able to discern information from propaganda and advertising. So Google Scholar was developed. They have a staff of searchers that comb the Internet daily for publications in professional literature. All of the sources included in Google Scholar are also available through the main Google search engine, but these are set aside in Google Scholar and noted as appropriate for college-level research. Many faculty were skeptical for many years, but so far Google Scholar has proved itself to be a valuable resource. Anyone can access Google Scholar, just do an internet search and it will be available. However, if accessed from the ISU Library webpage, there are additional features available. So in the databases list, choose Google Scholar. Put your search terms in the search box and be sure to use the Boolean operators appropriately. Yes, your search statement will work by just using search terms, but it works much more efficiently if you use the Boolean operators. In addition, make sure you mark articles and remove the check in the box to include patents. If you are searching for legal information, the case law is a great choice and that may be a great choice later in the semester. But for now, focus on finding articles on your topic. Here's the search results. Notice that most titles also have the authors and the name of the journal and several have the year and publisher's name in green. The black text is called KWIC, which stands for Keyword in Context, or QUIC, and that has the first several times the search terms are used in the article. At the bottom of each entry is information about how many times the article has been cited, links to related articles, and if there are other versions of the same publication. In addition, the Web of Science number is the number of results the article is cited in other sources indexed in Web of Science. In addition, there are citation helps and a link to save the article. On the left are the facets. You can revise the search to include case law, although legal research is a special focus. It is easy to become overwhelmed with the legality of an issue. In viewing the results, Notice they are not in order by date, but by relevance, as noted in red on the left. To change the results to be listed by date, click on that. It may take a minute to make the adjustment, depending on the size of the results list. You can also choose one of the limitations by year up just above. However, they won't be in order by date. The results will only be limited to those sources that fit the date limit. On the right are notes about availability at ISU. These notations appear only if you access Google Scholar from an ISU computer or from the ISU library webpage. In the upper right corner is a drop box with options for metrics, settings, and advanced search. Metrics shows the list of publications for each discipline and their impact rating based on the number of citations from each journal in published articles. Don't worry about how this is compiled, but be aware that many times the ranking affects the level of selectivity when a journal determines what articles will be published each issue. These are the top 20 journals published in the English language. And this is the list of the top 20 journals cited in the Health and Medical Sciences section. When I clicked on the subcategories, each of the subcategories have journals that show their impact factors as well. At the bottom of the facets is an option to create an alert. If you click on that, you can type in your search statement and email address, and the system will email you any results that fit the search statement when they are added to the system. When you decide to edit or delete an alert, just click on Alerts and you can edit it here. 
This email arrived the day after I created this alert in Google Scholar, and I will receive an email of results every week if there are additional articles posted. The full text is included for each of these sources, although I can't promise that will happen every time. At the bottom of each Google Scholar page is a link to learn about Google Scholar. Here is the front page of that about Google Scholar. I encourage you to explore more about the features and the ranking systems used. As always, if you have questions or want my assistance, please contact me.